Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. Today I have an all day whole house clean for you all. If you've watched any of my previous videos leading up to this one, then you know I've had a lot going on. But anyways, my house is trashed and I'm going to clean it now that I have the time. I really don't know what else to say except that it's a complete disaster. I haven't had the opportunity to create a video like this. I try not to let my house get to this point anymore, but this is real life for me right now. If you like seriously messy motivational cleaning videos be sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future uploads and with all that said let's get started I'm starting with laundry first thing because I have a lot to get through. This video is different than what I normally do because I'm starting with the floors after this well after we pick up all the junk and I vacuum but the floors are so dirty I couldn't wait until the end and you'll see why in a minute. Today's video is a collaboration with my best friend, Candice. She is a military wife and mom to two little boys. She loves making cleaning, organization, and lifestyle content. She just recently relocated to Texas with her family and bought a brand new, gorgeous home. It is so pretty. Her cleaning videos are bomb. She's also doing a whole house clean on her channel, so make sure as soon as you're done watching my video, you head over to hers and subscribe. She's been so supportive of me and my channel since the very beginning. I would love to help her grow her channel and when you do subscribe leave her a comment and let her know that i sent you so sultan and i are picking things up off the floor the main goal is so i can just vacuum i found a, a lot of little treasures along the way in this video to put it lightly i try to get as many close-ups as i could Apparently one of my faux potted plants broke and no one said anything. I found chips of ceramic under the TV console, an empty ice cream container, a pumpkin, and tons of crumbs. Girl, listen, I don't know what is going on over here with the chair down on the ground. Watching this, it looks like a tornado hit this place. I've been trying to juggle working from home and having all three kids home with me for school. Amir, my sweet little Amir, he gets into a lot of things. I've mentioned this before, but oh my God, he is so bored at home. He just destroys things. I'm seriously considering sending him back to school, just him just so I can have that time to get things done. And so he'll be in school and by the time he gets home, he's too tired to make a mess. And before someone says he's old enough to understand or I should punish him for this, my son is four years old and he has autism. There is no stopping him sometimes. And it's not just him, like we all contribute to the mess, but he contributed heavily.
I'm getting all the chairs up and about to vacuum, but I want to show you what's on the floors. When the kids spill now, I have them clean it up themselves with paper towels. However, they've just been smearing it in and not actually cleaning it up. I couldn't tell that it was this bad until I looked at it at an angle. These little patches were all over the floor. I actually mopped twice, but I only showed myself mopping once because it was that bad. I'm back in the laundry room to switch laundry and sort everything before I steam up. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. I want let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty honey let's just face it you can do better let me 
show you what a good time looks like You can't do better, so much better I'm finally starting in the kitchen with filling up my jaws cleaners. I have the disinfectant, the yellow one, the blue one is the glass cleaner, and the gray one is granite cleaner. Today I got a facial and I was talking with my esthetician about cleaning products randomly. She doesn't know I have a cleaning channel by the way, but she mentioned Mrs. Myers and I thought they have um, their seasonal scents out right now and I haven't gotten any. That's my favorite time of year to purchase Mrs. Myers is seasonal ones. They're my favorite, so I gotta get to Target and get some soon.
I'm using these dishwasher packs that Whole Foods sent me and I'm not a fan. <laughs> I like the cleaning sprays, the glass cleaner and multi-surface cleaner and of course the essential oils that I also use but my dishes have never been cloudier. From this angle right here I can just see the progress it looks so much better already I'm not gonna lie going into this one I was overwhelmed and did not want to do it I think I put it off for like an extra day and a half just because I didn't want to deal with it and that's a normal feeling when it gets this backed up that's why I try really hard not to let it get out of control but like I said it happens and just seeing this makes me feel more motivated to keep on cleaning so if you are cleaning with me and you have a huge mess like I do, don't worry, just look back at your progress and you'll feel motivated to keep going. I use the Jaws Kitchen Spray Cleaner. I think it's a degreaser. I used to use the Method degreaser on my glass top, but one of my followers let me know that that wasn't safe for glass tops, and I read the bottle and it wasn't. So this one is safe, and I like to use a degreaser on my glass top just to break down what's on there first before I go in with my glass cooktop cleaner and polish by Wayman. I love this, and you guys know I always write little messages on my stove. Today it's 500K. I'm almost there, so if you're this far into the video and you like my video so far I would love to have you subscribe If you guys haven't watched my last few videos, especially my last one, my fridge organization one, then you don't know that, yes, we have a new fridge and we were without a fridge for about a week and a half and it was horrible. But now we have a new fridge and I fully organized it and stocked it. So if you have not seen that video, I'll leave it up in a card for you right here. Now moving on to wiping down the surfaces in the living room or living areas. I'm spraying disinfectant on our uh, dining chairs and Sultan's desk. And this glass table, I get so many questions about it. It's from article.com. I don't remember where I bought the chairs. Uh, it has to be linked in a really old video when I first bought them, but I don't remember where I bought them.
You guys, the house has been such a mess and we haven't been spending very much time here since the fridge was broken. But um, I forgot that I had fall decor. After this video, I was like, wow, I have fall decor. <laughs> well, what's left of it? I feel like I'm super chatty today, but I'm in a good mood. Good things are happening with all the negativity that has been going on. But my couch is from American Signature Furniture. It's linked on my Instagram under my furniture links highlight. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, go follow me and find that highlight. And I have a bunch of furniture linked on there, like my coffee table, my vanity, and just like other things that I always get questions about. Thank you to my follower that replied to my story when I asked what I should use to clean my TV because I have fingerprints on mine and yeah, it's high up and the kids are not supposed to be up here, but they do it and there's always sticky fingerprints all over my TV. So I bought this and it works so well with the microfiber cloth. If you have kids or you just have fingerprints all over your flat screen TV, I would definitely recommend this one. You can find it on Amazon. I'll link it in the description. my girl's room it's honestly not that bad just a little messy the clothes on the bed are the ones that I took out from the dryer that I'll fold later um, I'm not going to make their beds or put their clothes away that's their responsibility now Sultan actually loves to help clean she loves putting dishes away and she loves to make beds <laughs> so I leave that to them and also Ruby's bathroom I call it Ruby's bathroom because she's really the only one that uses it. The little ones will use it sometimes, but it's mainly hers and she's the oldest, so it's fine. But she is responsible for cleaning that bathroom now, so I will not be cleaning that in this video. I forgot to show you guys this earlier when I got done vacuuming the living areas and kitchen. I just did a quick vacuum in the girls room but look at all that dirt and dust and crumbs and everything that was all over the floor. It's crazy.
Amir's room is not that bad at all. It was actually better than this, but he made his way into this room yesterday and I was like, uh-uh, out of that room, don't destroy it. His room has been the one to be the most clean out of everywhere else in the house that's a mess. My room is like terrible. I'm talking all this smack, but my room and bathroom, yeah, they're really bad. We are in my room finally, but in my defense, we spend a lot of time in my room. We don't normally watch TV on the couch. We watch TV in my room and you can definitely tell that there has been kids here with that whole apple under my bed and just toys and clothing sprawled all over the place. Honestly, when I get ready to go somewhere, I make a huge mess every single time. I'm trying to get better at that, especially with trying on so many different outfits and then just flinging the clothes all over the place. I know my mom is watching and she knows exactly what I'm talking about. I would wear or I would try on like five or six different outfits and just throw my stuff all over the place. None of this stuff on my bed has been worn. It's just been tried on and thrown off. We were living in between two houses, so I would come here, grab some things or shower really quick and then leave again, trying to make appointments or get my work done. Sometimes I would work um, from my office at home and then sometimes I would work from the other house and it was just craziness. And underneath my bed was so, oh look, another apple. <laughs> Under my bed was just terrible, but as you can see, it's mostly toys and kids books, so don't point the finger at me.
it's starting to look so much better already i still have to vacuum especially under my bed and mop but i took that pillowcase off of the throw pillow because that one was on the floor so i'm going to wash it and then after that i'm going to collect the laundry the ton of laundry out of my bathroom go back into the laundry room switch laundry again and then fold all of the linens Now I'm in my bathroom. It wasn't that dirty. The tub and shower and toilet were cleaned, but the countertop is just cluttered, so I'm gonna put all of that stuff away. Really quickly, I had to cut some of this part out because the video was getting so long. There's not much to explain here. I'm just gonna do a quick surface clean, wipe everything down, and then vacuum and mop the floors.
The last thing I did for this day was vacuum the couch really well. I still have to clean under the couch, but I need help taking it apart because it's so heavy. Um, this wasn't supposed to be a two-day clean with me. I thought I could get everything done in one day, but I had so much laundry that I just decided to finish the laundry overnight and then fold it all the next day. This is the next day, I'm just sorting everything and then I'm going to fold it all and put it away. At this point I thought should I clean my office and the laundry room but the video would have been so long so there will be a, another cleaning video coming out soon. I have to do a lot of decluttering and organizing too so stay tuned for that video.
and that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it leave it a thumbs up and i will make more like this as always thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you all in my next video